Hello, I'm Mike Pompeo, America's Secretary of State. The United States has taken decisive action to end Qasem Soleimani's reign of terrorism. President Trump has made clear that he does not seek war in the Middle East and is open to talks with the Iranian regime. He's made it equally clear that we will defend Americans and our interests all around the world. And we will hold those who commit attacks against us accountable and responsible, whether it's the Iranian regime or its proxy forces. We had comprehensive intelligence that showed Soleimani was readying an imminent attack to kill what could have been hundreds of Americans. Our actions saved lives. Soleimani's life was devoted to taking them. It's time for the world to see that the Iranian regime is what it is and not what we wish it to be. The regime is first and foremost a threat to its own people. We know the regime plunders the people's wealth to support foreign proxy fighters. Soleimani and his IRGC Quds Force were the main beneficiaries of this thievery. Soleimani, too, coordinated the regime's brutal crackdown against its own citizens this November in Iran, which resulted in the death of more than 1,500 protesters and the arrest of more than 7,000 others. I mentioned one of those slain protesters, Puya Bakhtiari, in my speech on human rights in Iran here at the State Department on December 19th. Afterward, his parents thanked me for honoring their son's name after the regime had tried to erase his memory. Sadly, the regime swiftly arrested them when they refused to cancel the traditional day of mourning. It's now banned almost all families of slain protesters from mourning the murder of their loved ones. What hypocrisy that the regime has forbidden many parents from mourning their children. It has called for three days of immediate mourning following the death of Qasem Soleimani. Many Iraqis, Yemenis, Syrians, Lebanese, and others in the Middle East have also suffered because of the Iran proxy campaigns of terror that we've seen all across the Middle East. They have seen the true face of this brutal regime. And the Iranian regime has been waging war against the United States for years as well, from the takeover of our embassy in Tehran in 1979, to the bombing of the Beirut Marine Barracks in 1983, to the Kobar Towers bombing in 1996, to the killing of an American contractor and attacks on our embassy in Baghdad in just these past few days. Soleimani had American blood on his hands. He led the killing of more than 600 American soldiers serving in Iraq, who were simply helping the Iraqi people attain peace and prosperity for their own country. He will no longer be able to mastermind attacks on America and our interests, as he was doing at the very moment of his death. Soleimani was a terrorist. Today, people in Iran, Iraq, and all around the world are cheering his termination. They're thankful for the freedom from his brutality. The United States sees you. The United States hears you. And we stand with you in your ongoing quest for freedom and justice.